Hello my friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, welcome to the Art Cake Experience channel today. I am painting a uh, Jack Skeleton because it's Halloween and I love Jack Skeleton. Uh, and I'm using for the first time my very own Canon Portaleo oil paintings, edible oil paintings, and I absolutely love it. Uh, as you can see, I'm using white on top of um, gray base and it really paints very very well just one stroke and look how well it paints i'm using the slow diluter today because i want to give some shades with the gray later on you will see you will see how it looks uh let me just leave you with some of the painting process and i will be mentioning some of the things that i love about these paintings in just a minute enjoy it so in this uh, part you can see that I'm adding some great shades into the white that was already painted. Since I use the um, slow diluter, the white is not totally dry, which gives me uh, enough room to maneuver and to give some really cool shadows into this jack skeleton i can blend and blend and the best thing is that the sugar paste is not absorbing any liquid or any painting is not getting sticky is not getting um, dry or bringing the paste out it's really cool uh, now I'm going to start on the dock on zero and uh, let's see let's see the results. I'm adding little drops of the diluter into the painting and I also have a liquid to paint to uh, wet my brushes and to clean my brushes. So as you can see, I mean it's really smooth the way that the paint runs into the sugar paste and it doesn't bring any of the sugar paste out or creates lumps or dry or wets the sugar paste is really really good Okay, now I'm using the black uh, color and I absolutely love it because what happens sometimes with edible colors uh, with the black is that it doesn't give like a, a, a black finish. It looks a little grayish and with this one, as you can see, one stroke of the black and I can, I mean, you can tell that it's black. I'm also doing some uh, shadows on the dog using different shades of gray and, and now white on his tail. Uh, and look, look how easy it runs into the sugar paste and he's not damaging the sugar paste. I can blend the shadows. It's, uh, I'm loving it. I'm really liking it. And uh, it's it's a really good paint. Uh, for me as a paint, I, I mean, I'm an artist before I was a baker or a cake artist. And finding a paint that works like an actual oil paint, but that you can use it on an edible medium, it's really cool. Um, so, well, let's keep watching. I hope you're still watching and you keep watching and seeing the result of my Jack Skeleton using this uh, Karen Portaleo oil paintings. Hope you like it.
Okay, so now I'm starting to outline his uh, suit and I'm going to be using black. Uh, as you can see, it runs very smoothly. I can uh, outline all the lines with just a little bit of the black. Uh, as you can see, I'm also using my Serart brushes. They are very, very good. I'm going to leave the links to all these products here on the video so you can find them uh, later online. And um, as you can see now, I'm using just black, just outlining. Then I'm going to fill all this with also black, but just giving a little bit of shadows using gray and um, defining the hands as well. Uh, just take a look and hope you're enjoying this video. If you like this video and if you like the tutorials that I have here on my YouTube channel, please subscribe and hit that bell button that you have right there so you can be updated to any of my new tutorials and videos. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one and let's just keep watching to see the result of this Jack Skeleton. can see how I'm using some gray and white to give lighter shadows on top of the black that I just painted and as you can see it's not um, the black is not absorbing the gray it's actually accepting the gray and it's blending very well now I'm proceeding to do the hands I'm starting with a white or very light gray uh, base and from that up I'm going to be building the shades of the skeleton hand Okay, now this is one of my favorite parts is when I'm doing the finishing touches in the eyes look how well the black is um, painting on top of the gray and how deep it looks now uh, on the design and uh, you will see in a second that I'm actually going to blend some gray into that black and it's going to give so much depth into the eyes of Jack Skeleton right now it looks like okay just a big gray thing in there but once I start blending cleaning my brush and start blending just a little bit of white and look how well it blends to give the light into it I'm just gonna keep adding some shadows into the Jack skeleton with some great shades uh, and look look how well it blends um, hope you like it
easy just to finish I'm outlining, outlining all the design with a very very thin brush using black just giving all the little details the stitches in the mouth and everything that is needed just to bring this character to life um, I'm gonna keep doing that with the whole design so you can see the final result Okay, so now I'm just finishing all the little details using a little bit of white uh, just to underline the, the white part of the dog and I'm also going to use white in the eyes just to highlight a little bit more of light, give a little bit more depth. As you can see, I, I did paint the eyes a while ago and they're still uh, wet enough or the painting allows me to give those shadows and to blend it together and it looks good and I'm not damaging what I already painted. And this is the result of our Jack Skeleton using Cardin Portaleo Edible Paint and the Slow Diluter. I really hope you like it. Thank you for watching.